Hi, and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to draw a ray diagram to show how a convex lens can be used as a magnifying glass. You should then be able to calculate magnification. And all of this is for triple physics students only. In the last video, we saw how to construct ray diagrams for convex lenses. We saw that the properties of the image depend on the distance between the object and the lens. If an object is more than two focal lengths from the lens, then the image is diminished, inverted, and real. However, if the object is between one and two focal lengths from the lens, then the image is magnified, inverted, and real. So in this video, we're looking at a third possibility. In this case, the object is less than one focal length away from the lens. In other words, the object is very close to the lens. And this is how a magnifying glass works. So let's take a look at the ray diagram. Here's the object, and as you can see, it's between one focal length and the lens. We start by drawing a ray of light from the top of the object through the centre of the lens. Remember that this ray does not change direction. Now draw another ray from the top of the object running parallel with the principal axis. This ray passes through the principal focus. Now you'll notice that in this case these rays do not meet. So how do we show the image? Well now we draw dotted lines to extend the rays behind the lens like this. We're using dotted lines because these do not represent the actual path of the rays. Where the dotted lines meet shows us the position of the image. Now this image has three key properties and I'd like you to try to work these out. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, well firstly the image is magnified. As you can see the image is much bigger than the object and that's why this shows a magnifying glass. Secondly, the image is the same way up as the object. And lastly, the image is virtual. In other words, the image is not real. Now we can tell that because the rays do not actually meet at a point. They only appear to meet. What this means is that we could not see this image on a screen. You need to remember that the only time that a convex lens produces a virtual image is when it's used as a magnifying glass like this. OK, now in your exam you could be asked to calculate the magnification of a lens. To do that we use this equation, and you are given this in the exam so you don't need to learn it. The magnification equals the image height divided by the object height. And remember that magnification is a ratio, so it's got no units. Here's a question for you to try. A magnifying glass is used to view an object which has a height of 0.5 centimetres. The image has a height of 3.5 centimetres. Calculate the magnification. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the magnification is the image height divided by the object height. In this case, the image height is 3.5 centimetres, and the object height is 0.5 centimetres. Dividing 3.5 by 0.5 gives us a magnification of 7 times. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on lenses and magnification in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.